my camera cut out on me. Technical issues again. No, nope, you're not recording anymore. Originally, I wanted to like, you know, plan my graduation outfit, you know, curl my hair or crimp my hair or do my makeup this way and blah, blah, blah. But because I was so fresh out of surgery and things like that, you know, I really couldn't be bothered. It's like I'd started to become more mobile again, you know, by the time it was my graduation. I can't remember how many weeks post-op I was, but I was doing a little bit more bending and I could move around a little bit quicker, but I would get tired very, very easily. And it's like, you know, in the little video clips that I actually got, it's like, you know, there's a, there's a clip where I'm being really like, way, And literally, I used all my energy up there throwing my cap in the air. I made all these plans to get up early and do my hair and blah, 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 blah. And then like, I just, when I did wake up, I woke up not necessarily in the best of moods and I just felt really grim and lethargic and I couldn't really do much and I just didn't feel very well. So I didn't put much effort into it. And then I kind of thought to myself, today isn't about, you know, looking awesome with curly hair, crimped hair, having amazing makeup. I thought to myself, you know what? Like, I'm not being funny, but it doesn't matter. I thought, today is all about collecting my degree. I thought to myself, that degree doesn't just count for a degree, like, you know, a bachelor's degree in art. It counted for three years of struggle, loss, pain, and everything as depressing as that sounds. Like, you know, and also the dress that I wanted to wear for my graduation, I couldn't wear because it didn't fit me. Because all I have to do really is show you guys, like, you know, if you look at my top, this is my Blink-182 top. I think I wore this t-shirt in a outfit of the day video some time ago and it was actually really tight around my boobs and like, you know, my, my arms. If you look at me now, it's baggy. It's, it's kind of scary how skinny I am now, to be honest. Um, I can't wait to put on some weight. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. But um, yeah, that's what happens when you're ill. So. When it came to my graduation, on the day itself, I had a little bit of a cry to myself, but then I kind of realized, you know what, Jess, none of this matters. All that matters is this. All that matters is this. <laughs> and I'm so proud of myself. I remember just feeling so, I was torn on my actual graduation day because I was torn between like, Oh my god, you know, I wish I could have done this, I wish I could have done that, like I wish I could have socialised with the people on my course more, like, you know, I was in and out of hospital so much that, like, I just, I couldn't socialise with people as much as I wanted to and it was really devastating for me in the end. And then on top of that, it was really like, you know, I went through a lot of struggles, but we won't get into that, we won't get into all the struggles that I went through during university. I didn't really record very much, you know, I wanted to do an outfit of the day, I wanted to like do my makeup, I wanted to do a, oh, get ready with my graduation day and all that bollocks. When it came down to it, I didn't have the time and, you know, life, life gets in your way. But what I did record, I'm going to insert here and, you know, I, I recorded a little bit of the ceremony, some, uh, some parts of it I can't put on YouTube because of copyright copyright infringement, blah, 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 but what I did record, I got permission to actually, like, you know, record it and stick it online if I wanted to. So, yeah, I'll show you that. There's some random clips that don't make sense at all, like, literally, at all, but, you know, I didn't really get the chance to record very much. I'll insert some pictures at the end of the video, after the video footage as well, but it was more or less like, you know, I was dead chuffed with myself that I actually made it that far. Three hardest years of my life, and I managed to do it. In a way, I didn't really use the university experience itself to its maximum, because I've never been much of a drinker. And I remember in the first year, everyone was going to freshers, and I literally went out for one night, and a lot of my other friends went out and got absolutely like, wankered. That's Mancunian for pissed. Pissed means not pissed off like Americans think, but uh, I'm drunk. I didn't really fit in in the sense of a lot of people, you know, by the time it got to like halfway through the first year, towards the end of the year, a lot of people getting into drugs and drinking, and I was just kind of like, I want to make videos. <laughs> I don't have any regrets other than the fact that I got involved with a guy in the first year that I shouldn't have really got involved with because he dragged me down quite a lot, and I can't really regret my health because it wasn't my fault. So yes, no regrets other than that one. It definitely wasn't easy getting my degree in the end, especially considering I was like tried and tested so much. 
I even studied from a hospital bed. That's how determined I was. Like, I spent hours and hours just off my head on painkillers, like making charts on what I wanted to do next and statements, artist statements everywhere and research. And I don't even know how I did it. I don't know how I got a second class degree, but somehow I did. And I guess that just shows if with determination you can achieve things, especially when you're ill. If you are going to university this year, you know, or next year, then good luck. I wish you all the best. But for now, I am now a graduate. Damn, can't use my student discount anymore. Gutted. Bye, guys. Prepare yourself for the weirdest thing you're going to see at someone's graduation. Wait for it. Yeah. Who are those guys? Why have they got pots and pans? Run, Forrest! Run! I did not expect this. <laughs> Things are about to get a little bit weirder. Okay then, right. I see. Congratulations on graduating, guys. Here's a ghost. I'm not quite sure what to say to you guys about this at all. What just happened? What did I just experience? This makes no sense. Some pretty good trumpet playing though. <laughs> this is the funkiest graduation ceremony ever. This is some brown In reality, I actually really, really enjoyed it, but that might be because I'm actually an eight-year-old in a 22-year-old's body. And this was the first time I'd left my house in absolutely ages. What the? He's back again. What the? As much as I would like to explain what's going on, I have no idea. Unlike everybody else who got a HD video of them walking across the graduation stage, I've recorded this with like Windows Media Player <laughs> off my dad's Facebook. And it was already blurry to start off with, but yeah, here I go. Walking across the stage, walkie walkie. Ah, thanks. Thanks for shaking my hand. Oh, oh, can I have my degree yet? Ah, come on. Oh, there it is. And she's done. Thank God for that. I did it! I did it! I spent the whole of my last year in hospital and I still got a degree. Way! Swing your cape. I'm Batman. How would you feel about graduating? Yay! Give me a second. Was it good? Was it good? Was it good? A degree. A Bachelor of Visual Arts. That's what I am now. There's a tree. And there's a degree! And there's my face. And there's a face, there's a tree. There's a degree, there's a tree, there's a degree. Let's change it up. There's a degree, there's a tree. Yay! This is where I graduated, all the graduated people. Yay! Yay! There's my boyfriend, aka Jack White. Hello, operator! Yay! Funny hat that I want to keep. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>